This is the demyelinating diseases section of the pathology review. In demyelinating diseases, we're going to talk about multiple sclerosis and central pontine myelinolysis. Multiple sclerosis is defined as a demyelinating disorder characterized by distinct episodes of neurologic def defects separated in time attributable to white matter lesions that are separated in space. It is the most common of all demyelinating disorders, and the disease can become apparent at any age, even childhood. Clinical course is relapsing and remaining flare-up episodes during variable intervals of time. You'll have a steady neurologic deterioration in a subset of patients, and those are not relapsing remaining, but those are primary or secondary progressive patients. Pathology of MS, we'll see environmental, genetic, and immune factors all lead to MS, but we don't have a single culprit. We do know that the risk is 15-fold higher when the disease is present in first-degree relatives. It is a white matter disease with multiple well-circumscribed, depressed, glassy, gray-tan, irregular-shaped plaques. The plaque represents an area of demyelination. There is a relative preservation of axons and depletion of oligodendrocytes in multiple sclerosis. The clinical features include unilateral visual impairment due to optic neuritis or a retrobulbar neuritis that is frequently the initial manifestation. Again, the patient will have a painful eye with decreased vision. You may also see intranuclear ophthalmoplegia from interruption of fibers in the medial longitudinal fasciculus. You can also have spinal cord lesions that lead to spasticity and urinary incontinence. And the cerebrospinal fluid, you will have mildly elevated protein levels and oligoclonal glands, which are immunoglobulins that are increased. Central pontine myelinolysis, CPM. This is loss of myelin in a symmetric pattern involving mostly the